Happy Sentinels, whenever the heck this comes out. It, interestingly, I am recording this on Sentinels Tuesday. But like I said last month, I want to try and get at least one extra video out a month, and this will probably be the one for this month. So we are taking a look at a new hero. It's Perfuma, a nature princess from She-Ra, deck created by Arky the Seventh and Doom Slug. She's fun. I just really enjoyed playing her in the test game. She is going to control the environment and make it work for us, probably. Which is great, because she's going to be fighting the Terraform, and it sucks. Alongside Malachi Once Upon a Time, first appearance Haka, and Infiltrator Pseudo. I can't remember what this variant is called, but I think it's Alien Infiltrator. And said environment is Definitive Temple of Shu Long. So, Terraform starts off. Mecha Titan of Industry side up. Shuffle the villain deck, reveal cards from it till an access card and a device card are revealed. Put them into play, shuffle the other reveal cards into the deck. So let's go ahead and grab those. We got Gum Up the Works and Neurotoxin Emitters. Reduce damage dealt to the Terraform by one. When an access card enters play, put three tokens on it. If there are ever no tokens on an access card, put it under this card. Then if there are four cards under this card, he flips. So we need to access four times to get him to flip. End of the villain turn, put the top card of the environment deck. Then the Terraform deals the two non-villain targets with the highest HP four melee damage each. Then reveal cards in the villain deck till an access card is revealed, put it into play, and shuffle the other reveal cards into the deck. So he does a lot of stuff. For Gum Up the Works, it says at the end of the villain turn, each player may move a card from their trash to the bottom of their deck. Each time an ongoing or equipment card is moved this way, remove a token from this card. So first round, it's not going to do anything for us. Here we go. Revoker Mag Rollers come out. All of the minions have minus one damage taken, and this one will hit everybody for one lightning damage. Speaking of which, it is the end of the villain turn. Let's play the top card of the environment deck. It's Zhu Long. Wow. Who knew? When the true form enters play, destroy all rituals and this card. When this card is destroyed any other way, search the environment deck and trash for the true form, put it into play, and shuffle the deck. End of the environment turn, reveal cards from the environment deck until the ritual is revealed, put it into play, shuffle the other revealed cards into the deck. Then he hits the two highest, which are Haka and Pseudo, and then we get another access card, which is good. Climb along the outside. When a player skips their draw phase, remove a token from this card. So that will be pretty easy to do. All right, so we can't gum up the works. Nothing happens there. Neurotoxin emitters, and at the villain turn, the terraform deals each hero target one toxic damage. And if the terraform is on its mecha titan of industry side, destroy hero ongoing card. So everybody's basically taking two, and that's it. Okay, we want people to skip their draw phases. I guess I'm gonna bait and switch, because I've only got high gin cards. So we'll discard one of those and draw two cards. I can use a power now. Put two cards on the top of your trash into your deck. I wonder if that means shuffle actually you may put a gin card from your trash into your hand eh, it's not actually going to accomplish anything so he skips his draw phase and that's a token off the access card haka is going to tayaha he'll hit the minion and the device and skip his draw phase for another token we are climbing along the outside of the thingy Sue is going to start off with thick and build and heal three and we'll reveal the top card of a deck it's a minion the Revoker Wall Walkers, which deal the highest HP hero target three cold damage. We'll leave those guys there, that's fine. He'll skip his draw phase, and we have climbed along the outside. That's one down. So Perfuma is going to start off with Blooming Grove. Whenever a target will be dealt damage by an environment source, you may discard a card if you do prevent that damage. Her base power is Bloom. One target regains a hit point. Increase the next damage dealt by that target to a non-hero target by one. But we're actually going to use the power on Blooming Grove, which is one player may draw a card, one player may draw a card. We will let Pseudo and Haka draw cards, since they skip their draw phases. Draw a card. That's why I was pleased to see that specific access card. Temple of Zhu Long plays Temple Trials. Speaking of rituals, this card is played with the top card of each hero deck under it. At the end of the environment turn, reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a target, put it into play. It is. If not, discard it and destroy a card under this card. Then if there are no cards under this card, put the top card of each hero deck into play in turn order. Ah. So, end of turn, we get another ritual. This is Resurrection Rites. Oof. When a non-character villain target is destroyed, put it under this card. End of the environment turn, if a Dragon Master is in play, which he is, put a random card under this card into play. Thankfully, there aren't any yet. All right, so we reveal the top card of the villain deck, and it is, in fact, a target, so it goes into play. Gross. And that's it for the environment turn. Terraform plays the Troop Egress Hatch, which is the worst device because it gets us a minion and a device at the end of the villain turn. Speaking of which, it's the end of the villain turn. Let's play the top card of the environment deck. It's a Shinobi Assassin. It's a card whenever a player's hand, put it in play. It's a card whenever play, it deals a non-environment target with the lowest HP, 2 melee damage. That is, thankfully, the Neurotoxin Emitters. So those go under the Resurrection Ritual. This card will be destroyed, put it on top of an active hero's deck instead. End of the environment turn, this card deals a non-environment target with second lowest HP, 2 melee damage. So right now, working for us. Then it hits Haka and Pseudo for 3. And then we get another access card. Hack the mainframe. 
Each hero gains the following power. Discard the top card of the villain deck. If a minion was discarded this way, put it into play and remove a token from this card. Not the easiest one to do. Can anyone do gum up the works? Yes, there's one, and that's actually it. We need to play slash destroy some of our ongoing equipment cards. Everybody take one lightning damage from the minion. The other minion will hit Malachi for three. Troop Egress Hatch gets us a minion, and since he's on his Mecha Titan of Industry side, we also get the first device revealed this way. So it's another Troop Egress Hatch, that's terrible. And the Revoker Nano Mechanics. At the end of the villain turn, each device regains three hit points. So then we do that again. There's a device. It's another neurotoxin emitter. And we get another mag roller. Those need to go. Everything needs to go all at once. None of the devices have been dealt damage. No. So everybody take one sonic damage and we destroy a hero ongoing card. That'll be thick and build, I guess. And everybody take one lightning damage. It's fine. Nothing's bad. Nothing's going wrong here. Rashiel. Yes, let's play him. Oh, put two cards on the top of your deck into your trash. I read that backwards. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I can put a gin from my trash into my hand. Wow. I don't know why I keep doing that. Draw a card. We'll have Reshiel hit the two troop egress hatches for one apiece. Haka will play Dominion. He will hit the two egress hatches for three. We need to do something about the environment. This is bad. I'm going to play Perfect Disguise. We'll reveal the top two cards of the environment deck. It's a Shinobi Assassin and a Ritual. Let's discard the Ritual and replace the Assassin, because those guys are helping us right now. That's not a one-shot. And then we'll use his base power, look at the villain deck. We do not want the lower cranial aperture laser. Draw a card. Oh, and then draw a card. Oh, here's a great idea. Let's entangle. As long as there are four or more environment cards in play, which there are, reduce damage to all villain targets by two. At the start of your turn, use a power, then destroy this card. I think we could use that right now, because I can't get rid of anything else. Yeah, that would take out a thing, and then it would just come right back. This is going to be rough. She's going to let herself draw a card, and Haka draw a card, and then she draws a card. All right, start of turn, anything? No. So that other shinobi comes into play. End of turn, we get a ritual. Service of service. End of the environment turn, the environment turn with lowest HP. Deals the two non-environment turns with the highest HP, two melee damage each. Well, all right, end of the environment turn, reveal the top card of the villain deck. It is a target, so it goes into play. This is mostly targets. This is not good. Oh, we're going to lose all of our stuff at this point. We need to get rid of that. We need to get rid of everything. Resurrection Rites puts a random card under that into play, so the neurotoxin emitters are back. He resurrected them somehow. Shinobi kills... Oh, Troop Egress Hatch number one, thank goodness. And Shinobi number two kills Troop Egress Hatch number two. And then one of the Shinobis... One hits the Titan form, and one will hit Perfuma, and we will discard a card to prevent the damage. Yes. Okay, the Terraform plays Revoker Gravity Lashers. Well, now we've seen all the minions. And the villain turn, they hit the two highest for two psychic damage each. So he plays the top card of the environment deck. It's the Apprentice Poisoner. She pretty much works the same. He hits Perfuma and a Pseudo for two each. That's significantly better. And then we get another access card. Just get lucky, my favorite. At the end of the villain turn, one player discards any number of cards and draws a card. Then if they have no one-shots in hand, remove two tokens from this card. All right, do we have anything to move? There's one. Oh, and there's another one. Okay, Perfuma and Pseudo have gummed up the works. Two to go. Everybody take no lightning damage. The highest takes one cold damage. That'll be Haka. Devices heal three. That is unfortunately the Terraform itself. Uh, everybody take no toxic damage, and then we destroy a hero ongoing card. That's probably going to be perfect disguise. No lightning damage. Take no sonic damage, and we destroy an equipment card. There's only one, unfortunately. Everybody take no toxic damage, and we destroy another hero ongoing card. It's going to be Dominion. This deals no psychic damage, and then who's got no one-shots in hand? We're going to have Malachi discard no cards and draw a card. It was not a one-shot. Remove two tokens from it. All right, I think it's time for High Reshiel. And I also think it might be worth just using the power on this. Deals three targets, three sonic damage each. They can't take anything out. He can hit all three of these devices. Oh, speaking of which, those devices went under the ritual. Destroy that card, draw a card, and then Reshiel takes two of them out. Which, again, go into the ritual for some reason. Okay, Haka is going to play another Dominion, and we'll use his base power, Aranga. Destroy a target with two or fewer HP. He regains HP equal to that target's HP before it was destroyed. So the seismic resonators go under the ritual, and he heals one and draws a card. There, see? We're cleaning things up a little bit. I think Barb Spines would help a lot. There is very little for him to hit that isn't a environment target. Let's take a look at the top card of the villain deck. It's an access card, so that will help get rid of Temple Trials a little faster. Draw two cards. All right, start of turn. 
Perfuma can use a power. She will increase the next damage dealt by Haka by one. Destroy that card. Arboreal Avalanche. Select an environment card. We'll pick you long. That card deals any number of targets two melee damage each. You may draw a card. So he'll just hit all the villain targets for, unfortunately, only one, but... Hey, it's a bunch of damage. Draw a card. And then power, she will let herself draw two cards and then draw a card. Okay, Templar Zhulong plays an Oni Berserker. He brings out another ritual. Mysterious Ceremonies. We get a random device from under that back into play with Seismic Resonators. That's fine, because we have no equipment cards at the moment. The Shinobi Assassin hits the Mag Rollers. The second one hits the Nano Mechanics. I think I did that wrong last round. And then we will have one of them hit the two highest for two each. That's one to the Terraform and two to Haka. The Apprentice Poisoner deals the three non-environment targets the lowest HP, one toxic damage each. That is the Mag Rollers, the Nano Mechanics, and one of the other minions, and they all soak it. Oh wait, no, that's not true. We can have it hit the device. Reduce damage dealt by targets that took damage this way by one to the start of the environment turn. Well, unfortunately, the Terraform deals this damage, and not the device. Oh, I forgot to reveal the top card of the villain deck. We discard it, and destroy a card from under that card. The Oni Berserker deals the two non-environment targets with the highest HP, three melee damage each, and this card deals itself and each non-environment target one infernal damage. Well, so it hits the Terraform for two, and we'll say pseudo, and actually, we'll go ahead and discard a card to prevent that damage. Then everybody take one infernal damage, which now Pseudo can react and hit him back for two. He hits the device, the rest of the villain targets soak it. And last but not least, Mysterious Ceremonies. Start of the environment turn, reveal the top card of the environment deck. If it's a target, discard it, otherwise put it into play. End of the environment turn, one player may shuffle their trash into their deck, then draw three cards or play a card. And one player may discard three cards. If they do, destroy a ritual. Hmm, I think that's a good idea. So, playing a card, what would help right now? Actually, Bait and Switch would help a lot. Okay, so we will shuffle Pseudo's Trash into his deck, and he'll play Bait and Switch, because the top card here is an access card. We'll put that on top, and the other one on the bottom. And then we need someone to discard three cards that will be Malachi, and destroy Resurrection Rites, because that's really bad. Thank goodness for that. Okay, the Terraform plays Located Weak Spot. Who knew? Each hero gains the following. Discard the top three cards of the villain deck. Each time a device is discarded this way, remove a token from this card. That one's a lot easier to do than hack the mainframe. All right, top card of the environment deck is Pool of Revival. At the end of the environment turn, you may flip an incapacitated hero character card, restore it to HP, and shuffle that hero's deck, returning it to the game. If you do, that hero draws two cards, and each other hero discards two cards, then destroy this card. We might need that. It hits Pseudo, who hits back for one, and Perfuma. Okay, Pseudo's about to take a lot of damage, because that negative two is no longer there. The Mag Rollers hit Pseudo for one lightning damage, and he takes them out. It's already better. The Wall Walkers hit... Haka for three. The nano mechanics heal the terraform and the seismic resonators. Gross. This mag roller hits everybody, and Gru hits it back for one. The gravity lashers hit Malachi and Haka. Can Malachi just get lucky again? This card, no cards. Oh, he drew a one shot. Darn. Seismic resonators, everybody take a sonic damage. He hits the terraform for one. Reshiel's immune. Destroy an equipment card, but we don't have any. And that's it. Cripes. Okay. I'm going to throw Solomon's Fire on the Terraform to negate that damage reduction a little bit. Let's go ahead and put two cards on the top of his trash into his deck. Jin card for my trash into my hand. Somayel is there. I think he would actually be very useful. Draw a card. Reshiel will hit the Terraform and this device. Haka will take out the Mag Rollers with the Elbow Smash, because the plus one damage will let him get through that. And then with his power, he's going to locate a weak spot. Minion, Minion, Minion. Good job, Haka. Draw a card. Shit. He also should have drawn a card because we destroyed an environment card. Ah! All right. Try not to think about it. Let's search for a device card. I'll take a lower cranial aperture laser, put that on top, and then he will use locate a weak spot. Hey, there's a device. That's a token off. And that's an access card, and that's a one shot. Draw a card. Let's do some damage. Arboreal Avalanche again. We'll have the Berserker Oni do it this time. Any number of targets, two million damage each. Hit all the minions, takes out the nano mechanics. Also hit yourself, dummy, and the Poisoner, because she's not super helpful. I may draw a card. Power, she's going to locate a weak spot. Access, device, there's one. One shot, the last card is a device. Almost made it, draw a card. Ooh, kind of steamed about that. All right, Mysterious Ceremonies reveals the top card of the environment deck. Is a target, discard it. It was the true form, oh my. Instead, we play another Apprentice Poisoner, that's fine. All right, are there any rituals left? It's a big nope. Top card of the villain deck is a target, so it goes into play. Gross. The Shinobi Assassin. Let's see. Seismic Resonator is the lowest, so the second lowest. One of them hits the Gravity Lashers, and then the other one hits the Gravity Lasher. And then the Apprentice Poisoner 
It's the two highest, that is the Terraform, as usual. And Malachi, we will we'll discard a card to prevent that. Then the Apprentice Poisoner hits. Seismic Resonators takes those out. And two minions, who both soak it. The Oni hits the Terraform for two and Malachi, and we will discard a card to prevent that. And then everybody take one Infernal Damage. It hits the Seismic Resonators. It's the only thing it can get through. Pseudo hits it for two, and it takes itself out, and Haka draws a card. I say that like it's done, but it's not done yet. Mysterious Ceremonies, who wants to play a card? Perfuma does. Shuffle her trash into her deck, and she will play Entangle again. It's a good thing we have all of the environment cards all the time, always. Let me discard three cards to destroy a ritual. I think we're kind of okay on the rituals so far. And then this poisoner hits, unfortunately, Reshiel, who gets minus one damage, and a minion, and this device. Which, again, doesn't deal damage, so it doesn't matter. Gosh! Villain Trash shuffles into its deck, and he plays Send Everyone. Reveal cards in the villain deck until a device, a minion, and an access card are revealed. Put them into play, shuffle the other revealed cards into the deck. If no target under play this way, shuffle the villain trash into the deck and play the top card of the villain deck. So, yeah, device, minion, access. Seismic Resonators, Mag Rollers, and Blast a Big Enough Hole. End of turn, play the top card of the environment deck. It's a Shinobi Assassin. Hits the lowest HP for two melee damage. That is either Reshiel or the Gravity Lashers. Guess which one I'm going to pick. Then it hits Malachi for two and Perfuma. Then we get an access card because they're back in their deck. Last one, steal key cards from foes. When a villain minion is dealt damage by a hero target, remove a token from this card. Oh, and Blast a Big Enough Hole is at the end of each turn. If at least five damage was dealt to the Terraform, remove a token from this card. Very difficult to do. All right, the Wall Walkers hit... Pseudo for one, and he hits back for one. Who can get lucky this time? I'm gonna keep doing it with Malachi. Discard a card. He got lucky. That's three. Oh yeah, we take a token off of steel key cards from foes. That's probably gonna be flipping him now. Seismic Resonators take no damage. Destroying equipment card, we don't have any. The Mag Roller deal is no damage. And that's it. Criminy. Let's play Somile. Two cards on the top of my deck into my trash. Pull High Reshiel back out. Our card. Reshiel does nothing. Somile will protect Malachi. Haka is going to play Tomoko. He is going to eat the Seismic Resonators for 2 HP. Draw a card. I'll play Malleable Flesh. Let's take the top card of the villain deck. It's a one shot. Let's leave it there. Draw two cards. And Entangle goes away, but it was very, very good. All right. Perfuma will play Meditation and Mediation. Perfuma and up to one other target regain 2 HP each. Draw two cards. I will heal Pseudo with that and draw two cards. Power. Let's heal Reshiel and give him a plus one to his next damage. Draw a card. All right, start of turn. Reveal the top card of the environment deck. It is a target, so it gets discarded. And then we shuffle the trash into the deck. Playing the true form. Destroy all rituals and Zhu Long. Well, there goes all of our cards, I guess. So, yeah, the Big Band Dragon is here at last. So when Julong enters, play destroy this card. When damage dealt by this card destroys a target, play the top card of the environment deck. End of the environment turn, this card deals a target other than itself with the highest HP, three radiant, three toxic damage. This is still very useful for us. Second lowest is, well, whatever happens, Reshiel's taking damage. So the first ninja hits this minion. The second one takes out Reshiel, but he goes back in hand. So that plus one, unfortunately, is wasted. The poisoner hits a minion and a device and a minion, and then we do it again. The Shinobi Assassin takes out this device for us. Well, that's cool. Thanks, buddy. Ninjas. Always trust them. How many cards should Haka have drawn, by the way? Five. I love it. Where's all of his equipment cards? Well, I guess he's got a Mary there. Let's see. The Poisoner hit the two minions and Somile twice. So he's dealing minus two damage, but he can't deal damage anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then the Shinobi Assassin hits so mild. Well, that's not fair. Don't do that. And the True Form hits the Terraform 4. All right. Terraform plays Send Everyone. Oh, that's right. We left it on top of his deck because we thought the Ritual was going to discard it, and now we're fucked. There are no access cards left. So Neurotoxin Emitters and Gravity Lashers play the top card of the environment deck. Unbreakable Bargain. When this card is played, each villain character regains 4 HP. Then the H villain targets the lowest HP, each regain 4 HP. Reduce damage dealt to environment targets by 1. At least it's not reducing damage dealt to villain targets. He hits Zhulong for 3, and we'll say Pseudo for 4, who hits back for 1. The Wall Walkers hit Haka for 2. The Mag Rollers hit for 1. Malachi soaks it, somehow goes back in his hand. Haka soaks it. Pseudo takes 1 and hits back for 1, so we take a token off the key cards. Narrow Toxin Emitters. Everybody take 1 Toxic Damage. Pseudo hits the Terraform for 1. Haka and Malachi soak it. Destroy a Hero Ongoing card. I'm gonna destroy Dominion. And the two highest are Malachi, who takes 1, and Haka, who takes 1. Okay. 
Could be worse, I guess. Okay, so we're putting Reshiel back out. Discard two cards. Grand Reshiel in my hand. Draw a card. He will hit the Neurotoxin Emitters and the Terraform. All right, Haka is playing Mere. He will whack the Mag Rollers for one, which takes the last token off of Steel Key cards from foes, which gives us our four Axis cards that Terraform flips. To the heart of the machine. When flipped to this side, destroy all Axis cards and all cards under this card, then set the Terraform's HP to half its current amount, round it up. At least this cleans up the board a little bit, if nothing else. But don't worry, things are about to get worse. Its current HP is essentially 190, so that puts it at 95. Could be worse. I guess. When an access card would enter play, discard it instead, and the terraform deals the three hero targets the highest HP, two energy damage each. In the villain turn, it deals the hero target with the highest HP, three lightning damage, then play the top card of the villain deck. This is a gross fight, but it also no longer has damage reduction, so that's something. Haka draw a card. Mind over matter is not going to do anything. Play Groove Battle Shifter. We'll reveal the top card of the villain deck. We're going to discard that, because it's the Egress Hatches. Draw two cards. All right, it's time for Floral Hulk. At the start of your turn, you may discard two cards. If you do not destroy this card, you may use an additional power during your power phase, and the power is Perfuma deals a target three melee damage. We're going to use that for her first power, take out the Neurotoxin emitters. Second power, she will heal Pseudo, and increases next damage by one. Draw a card. So the environment plays the Oni Berserker. All right, the second lowest HP is a minion. Let's make it the Gravity Lashers. So they get hit for one and one. The Apprentice Poisoners go after the three minions. They all soak it. The Gravity Lashers get hit for another one. The True Form hits the Terraform for six. Zhulong's going to finish this game for us at this run. The Oni Berserker hits the Terraform for three, as well as Perfuma. I can't really justify discarding a card for this, unfortunately. Well, now I can prevent that damage. And then everybody take one. Pseudo hits back for three. Haka soaks it. Okay, that was the environment turn. Terraform plays Neurotoxin Emitters. Go figure. The good thing right now is that there are no access cards in the deck. When the deck shuffles, then we have problems. And if turn it hits the highest for three, that is Haka. It takes two. Then we play the top card. It's some more Wall Walkers. Could be worse, I guess. All right, Wall Walkers number one hit Perfuma. Mag Rollers hit everybody for one. Pseudo hits them back for one. The Gravity Lashers hit Malachi and Haka for one. Everybody take one Toxic Damage. Pseudo hits the Terraform for one. We do not destroy your ongoing card. And then the Wall Walkers hit Haka for two. This is getting really bad. Let's play Summoning Crystal and use that to play High Reshiel. Draw a card. Have Reshiel hit the Terraform for three and the Neurotoxin Emitters for two. Haka will Restoration himself. Draw two cards. He'll heal seven. And then you know what? He'll also eat the Gravity Lashers for another two HP. Draw a card. All right, start of Pseudo's turn, he's going to play Clobbering Arms and take out these Mag Rollers, destroying Barb's Spines, and healing one. Now let's play Preserved Self-Image. Two thickened builds and an insubstantial transmutation. I think I will play one of those. I can draw a card or play a card. Let's play thickened build. So he heals four total. Destroy Clobbering Arms. Power, let's do... Hmm, I don't want to accelerate the villain deck. Don't want to accelerate the environment deck either. Stuff moved. Let's look at Malachi's deck. It's Bathiel. We'll replace him. Draw two cards. All right, start of turn, she has to discard two cards. We are going to play Rampant Growth. Play up the two cards from the top of the environment deck. I will play zero cards. Select up to four targets. For each target, a different environment card deals it three toxic damage. I'm going to select all four villain targets. So they all take three, which thankfully takes out the emitters. We'll say it's the ninjas and Zhu Long. He gets the hit in on the terraform. For her power, she's going to let herself draw two cards. And then she will deal the Oni Berserker three melee damage and draw a card. Hey, there's another Oni Berserker. That's not good in any way, shape, or form. All right, Shinobi Assassin hits the Wall Walkers. Second one hits the other Wall Walkers. The Apprentice Poisoner, oh shoot, hits the two Wall Walkers and Reshiel, and he's getting hit twice. Shinobi Assassin number three hits the Wall Walkers. The True Form hits the Terraform for six. Oni hits the Terraform, and Haka for two, and then it's, it's everybody for one. There goes Reshiel again. Oh wait, now we destroy that and set him back to five. He still has minus two damage reduction. Haka soaks it, Pseudo soaks it, it takes itself out. Oh, it does hit itself first. Shit, you're right. Oni number two hits Perfuma and Malachi and Reshiel, which destroys High Reshiel. Sets him back to five at least. And the Terraform, well, it first hits the Terraform and Haka for two. Then it hits itself and everybody. Okay, confusing. 
The terraform plays a mag roller, hits pseudo for two, and then it plays the lower cranial aperture laser in case you were wondering what that did. Wallwalkers hit Haka for two and pseudo for two. Mag roller hits Rashiel Malachi and Perfuma, who's almost dead. And this deals the non villain target with the highest HP for energy damage, which is Shu Long. Cool, thanks, love it. I will play Somile, and with Summoning Crystal, we will play High Somile. Draw a card, Rashiel does no damage. We will protect Perfuma. That might help. Hey, this will also help Ground Pound. Haka will drop these wall walkers. Draw a card and draw a card. All right, start a turn. I can play a shape. Let's play Insubstantial Transmutation. Draw a card. Heal one. Destroy Thick and Build. Let's do Thick and Build again. He heals four. Destroy Insubstantial Transmutation. Power. Let's draw three cards and discard each non-shape drawn this way. Boo. Draw a card. Start of turn, let's discard two cards. Yeah, so we're going to do Mediation and Meditation. She will heal herself and Malachi for two, and draw two cards. Power one, Floral Hulk take out these wall walkers. Power two, she's going to draw two cards, and draw a card. Okay, the Environment's turn essentially does nothing. Resurrection Rites comes back, well that's great. Okay, nothing else happens. Terraform plays Nano Mechanics, that's unfortunate. And then it deals no damage, and plays True Beaker's Hatches, which might not matter. The mag rollers deal no damage, the laser deals no damage. Terraform heals three, and we get more nano mechanics, which is not great. So the terraform heals three more. Sucks. Let's get Bathiel out. Power, we will play high Reshiel. Draw a card. Keep reducing damage dealt to Perfuma. Reshiel will do three damage to the terraform and two to the troop egress hatches. Bathiel will hit the troop egress hatches for two. Ground pound goes away, but it did what it needed to. I really want to ramp Vitality Surge. Draw a card. He will use his base power to destroy the Troop Eager's Hatches and heal two. Draw a card. Pseudo's going to play Telepathic Coordination. Let's draw three cards and discard the non-shapes. They were all shapes. Draw a card. All right, Perfume has to discard two, and we're going to play Renew. Destroy up to three environment cards. Draw three minus X cards, where X is the number of environment cards destroyed this way. So we're getting rid of res Resurrection Rites. May as well get rid of the Oni Berserker. And Unbreakable Bargain for the heck of it. Draw no cards. So power one, she's going to increase her next damage by one and heal herself. Power two, Floral Hulk. Hit the laser for four. Draw a card. And then we shuffle the environment trash into its deck. Akash Buddha flips. Oh, Julong comes into play. The true form is destroyed. Cool, so we can start accelerating the environment again. The lowest targets are Perfuma, the Laser, and Reshiel. So, Ninja 1 hits the Laser, Ninja 2 hits Reshiel for 1, the Apprentice Poisoner hits the Laser and Reshiel and Perfuma, who is soaking currently. Apprentice Poisoner 2 takes out the Laser, thank you, and hits Reshiel and Perfuma, who both soak it. Her ninja number 3 hits Perfuma, what a jerk. She will discard a card, don't need to be taking damage right now. And then Zhulong gets us a ritual for some reason. It's service of service. That might not be bad. The Apprentice Poisoner hits the Terraform for two, and Pseudo, who takes one. All right, last villain card is another laser, unfortunately. End of turn, it hits Haka for two. We shuffle the trash into the deck, and we bring out some more wall walkers. Okay, everybody take one lightning damage. Nobody does. The Terraform heals six. That's gross. The laser hits Zhulong for four, which is funny. The wall walkers hit Pseudo for two. That could have been way, way worse. Okay, we are playing Grand Reshiel for our power. We are using Grand Reshiel. He's dealing each non-hero target three sonic damage. Four to the terraform, two to the minions. Takes out two of the shinobis. We can put those on top of Malachi's deck, no problem. Drops this poisoner, takes that one down to one. Shinobi down to one, Zhulong down to two. Destroy that card. Draw a card. Now, the difference between this and regular Temple of Zhulong is when you draw a Shinobi Assassin, you don't get to draw a card instead. So that one comes into play, and it hits, let's say, one of the nano mechanics. So he's still got a ninja on top of his deck, which if I had been smart, I'd have put that on top of Haka's deck instead. There, I'm smart. Oh, and then let's see, end of turn, Reshiel will hit the Terraform for three and the Laser for two. So my will keep protecting Perfuma and Bathiel will hit the Terraform for three. I should ground pound, I really, really should, but I don't think I'm going to. Savage mana, he uses his base power to destroy Zhu Long and heal two. This brings the true form back out, but that's fine because now Zhu Long is tucked away. Safe and sound. Draw a card, oh wait, it's a Shinobi, it comes out, it hits the nano mechanics for one. 
All right, start of his turn, I'm going to play Stealthy Form and discard the top card of the villain deck. Okay, it was an access card, that was worth it. Destroy Thick and Build, also he heals one. Then we will play Insubstantial Transmutation, draw a card, heal one, destroy Stealthy Form. Then for his power, we'll use Grew Battle Shifter, play Clobbering Arms, do four damage to these nano mechanics and take them out. Destroy Insubstantial Transmutation, draw a card, and then he will deal four damage to the Wall Walkers and take them out. And then that wears off. That was good, though. Okay, start off for turn. Perfuma has to discard two cards. We are going to do Rampant Growth again. Play no cards. Select all the villain targets. They each take three toxic damage. So that drops the laser. That drops the nano mechanics. The mag rollers take two. And Zhulong hits the terraform for three. Draw a card. Power one. Oh, excuse me. We're going to heal Malachi, even though this plus one is not going to do anything. And then power two. Let's drop the mag rollers. There, we cleaned the villain play area for the first time in this game. Draw a card. Not sure how long I can keep that up for. The environment plays Temple Trials again. Oh, dear. Okay, the Apprentice Poisoner. Of course, now the environment is no longer our friend. Goes after Perfuma and Jins, so deals no damage. This ninja unfortunately hits Perfuma. Discard a card for that. The ninja then hits the Terraform for two and Haka for one. Ninja number two is going after Perfuma. She's going to have to take it. Zhulong hits the Terraform, Ninja number 3 hits Reshiel, and then Temple Trials reveals the top card of the villain deck. It is Troop Egress Hatches, so it goes into play, because that's exactly what we wanted. Alright, the Terraform plays Blast a Big Enough Hole, oh no. Hits the 3 highest for 2 each, which is Haka, who takes 1, Pseudo, and Malachi. And if turn, it hits Haka for 2, plays another access card, it hits Pseudo for 2, and Haka for 1, and Perfuma for 1. Oh wait, I'm sorry. That's what? Lightning damage? Energy damage. I'm forgetting about the Jin. One of those hits goes to Bathiel, who soaks it, because he's immune to energy damage. Then we get a random minion. At least it's just a minion, and it's just mag rollers. Pseudo and Malachi each take one, and that's it for that. Hey, some friendly advice. One character regains two HP. How about himself? One player may draw a card. How about Perfuma? One player may put a card from their trash on top of their deck. I think I want Perfuma to do that also. Let's do Entangle. Power. I guess we can use his base power. Discard the top two cards. Ooh, I saw High Bathiel. We'll put that in my hand. Draw a card. Reshiel hits the Terraform for three and the Troop Eagers Hatch for two. Somile continues protecting Perfuma. Bathiel hits the Terraform for three. All right, Ground Pound. Discard two cards, including the Rampage. He will destroy the Apprentice Poisoner for one healing. Draw a card. Pseudo, what will you do? Let's do Barb Spines at the start of his turn. Heal one, he hits everything but the Mag Rollers. Takes out this ninja, so we'll put it on top of his deck. Destroy Clobbering Arms. Don't want to do bait and switch with those, that would be bad. Let's play Stealthy Form. He heals one. Discard the top card of the villain deck. That uh, was a device. Destroy Barb Spines. And then Power, Grew Battle Shifter. Let's play Barb Spines again, he hits everything for two. Destroy Stealthy Form. Don't forget to heal one. Draw a card. All right, Perfuma is supposed to discard two cards. All right, and we drew the ninja, so he comes out and deals no damage. He would have hit Reshiel. And I actually would have taken out the Egress hat. Let's do Revitalize. Move a card from the Environment Trash into play. It will be an Apprentice Poisoner, because that's all that's there. When a target would be dealt damage by an Environment Source, you may instead have that target regain that much HP. If you do, draw a card and destroy this card. So, power one, she's going to drop the troop Egress hatches. Power two, she's going to draw two cards and draw a card. Okay, the environment's not going to be doing a whole lot. Unbreakable Bargain comes out. That's terrible. Terraform heals four. Actually, it heals eight, because it gets to double up on that, and the Mag Roller's back to full. That could be a lot worse, though, somehow, I'm sure. Temple Trials discards the top card of the villain deck. Huzzah. I do need to start peeking at the villain deck again. And that's it. The Terraform plays Send Everyone. Well, shit. At least we are under a ground pound advisory. Gravity Lashers, True Peekers Hatches, and Hack the... Mainframe, which goes into the trash with no damage happening. All right, no damage happens. We play Wall Walkers, and we get a minion, Gravity Lashers. Okay, got our work cut out for us here. Where's Unshackled when you need it? Play High Bathiel. Actually, is there something else I'd like to do? Actually, yeah, hang on. I'm going to Shadow Catch a couple of times. We need Ezile. She's not in the deck. Okay, never mind. I may draw a card, I may play a card, so I'll play High Bathiel off of that. Power! Discard the top two cards. Go looking for Ezile. If I had known she was in the trash, I'd have grabbed her sooner. Draw a card. 
Okay, Reshiel hits the Terraform for three, and the Egret hatches for two. Somile keeps protecting Perfuma. Bathiel hits the Terraform for four. Once I get the healing out, things will be... All. Let's do Haka of Battle. I'm going to discard two cards. He will take out the troop Egress hatches and put it under Savage Mana. Draw two cards. All right, start of Gru's turn. I'm not going to play anything. Do that. I'm going to play Mind Over Matter just for the hell of it. Power, we'll take a look at the top of the villain deck. It is a one-shot as long as... Oh yeah, Zhilong's not coming back into play. So, yeah, we should be good. Draw two cards. Woof. Discard two cards at the start of her turn. So let's do an Arboreal Avalanche. We will do the Apprentice Poisoner because the true form destroys stuff. It's bad. But he will hit all the villain targets for two. Mostly just one. Yeah, he doesn't need to hit anything else. She draws a card off of that. Power one, she draws two cards. Power two, she's going to heal herself and increase her next damage by one. Draw a card. I got to keep track of what's lowest and second lowest, and right now that's minions. The environment plays an Oni Berserker. Of course it does. Okay, one of the ninjas hits the Terraform, and Pseudo? It's back for one and takes him out. I guess we'll put them top of Malachi's deck. The true form hits Terraform for six, which... This form-on-form form violence has been the only thing getting us through this game. Ninja number one will hit the Gravity Lashers for one. Temple Trial. Oh look, discard the top card. Destroy a card under that card. Ninja number two hits the Gravity Lasher. The Apprentice Poisoner goes after stuff that's soaking it. The Oni Berserker hits the Terraform and Haka. I'm going to discard a card for that. That's damage he doesn't need to be taking. And then it hits itself for nothing and everybody else for one, which is just Pseudo, who hits it back for one. Oh, and Malachi. Shoot. Okay, could be worse, I guess. There's an excess card. Three hero targets with the highest HP. Two energy damage each. That is Bathiel and Somile, who takes one, and Haka, who takes one. End of turn, it hits Bathiel for two, because it's lightning damage. And then we play another excess card. So it hits Somile for one, and Perfuma for one, and Haka for one. This is devastating. The Mag Rollers hit Pseudo and Malachi. Pseudo hits back for one. The Gravity Lashers hit... Somile and Bathiel. The Wall Walkers hit... Oh, Haka. Oh, we just got a Tayaha. And then the Gravity Lashers hit Perfuma and Reshiel. Okay, it's time for Ezile. Power. Let's discard the top two cards. No, it's not discarding. We put the top two cards into his deck. So the ninja goes in the trash. And then we will pull High Ezile out of there and draw a card. Okay, Reshiel hits the Terraform for three and the Mag Rollers for one. Somile continues to protect Perfuma, which might not be the best idea, but whatever. Bathiel will do 2, 3, 4. The Terraform, Ezile heals Haka. Speaking of Haka, he plays Tayaha. Actually, no. He plays Vitality Surge. Draw a card. And then he will use his base power to eat these Mag Rollers and heal two. Boy, that's a nice power. When you really need it, it's really nice. Draw a card. Okay, it's time to do the thing. Start of turn, I'll play Risky Impersonation. Discard a card and heal one. Destroy Barbed Spines. For my play phase, play thick and build. He heals four and destroys Risky Impersonation. Power, Group Battle Shifter, Barbed Spines. He's only hitting the environment targets for one apiece, which means he takes out a ninja. We will put it on top of his deck. And then destroy thick and build. Draw a card, by which I mean play a ninja. Ninja unfortunately takes out Reshiel, who is restored 5 HP, and we destroy High Reshiel, and that's it. Woo! Discard two cards, start of her turn. I'm going to play Entangle. That'll get us through another round. Power 1, 4 melee damage to the Terraform. Power 2, got to draw two cards, and then draw a card. Temple of Zhulong plays Mysterious Ceremonies. Okay, good. The environment target with the lowest HP is a ninja. It hits the Terraform for two and Aka for one. Zhulong hits the Terraform. We're close. Temple Trials. Oh, I forgot to check. It's a device. It's fine, though. Could be Shinobi Assassin hits Bathiel for one, unfortunately. Apprentice Poisoner is once again hitting things that soak it. The Oni Berserker hits the Terraform and Pseudo. He'll take it. Hit back for one. Then it hits itself and everything else for one. When Malachi gets hit, we're going to destroy Revitalize. So he instead heals one and draw a card and destroy Revitalize. So it basically just hits Pseudo and the Terraform and Pseudo hits it back again. Oh, and this device. Don't forget the device. And then the Shinobi Assassin takes out these Gravity Lashers. Then, 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 one player may shuffle their trash into their deck and draw three cards or play a card. Perfuma will do this. She will play Inspire Confidence. Up to two players each play a card. Each of their targets regains a hit point. 
course, I didn't think about this too well. I'll start with Rampant Growth for her. He heals one. I will play no cards. We will select all of the villain targets and have Zhu Long not kill that one. Okay, can literally anyone do two damage with a single card play? Anyone. Oh, wait, no! Hawk has got an elbow smash! We win! <laughs> Hanging on by the skin of our teeth. Oh my goodness, that was a hell of a game. Let's look at the rest of Perfuma's deck. Burgeoning Power. Power. Discard a card. If you do, one player may play a card and each of their targets regains a hit point. Verdant Crescendo. Reveal the top four cards of the environment deck. Discard or play each of them. Perfuma deals a target X toxic damage where X is the number of cards discarded this way. You may draw a card. Calming Reprieve. At the end of each turn, you may destroy this card. If you do, each player draws a card for each card they've played this turn. When this card is destroyed, each hero target regains a hit point. I really should have played that for the healing. Verterous Vigor. At the start of your turn, you may discard a card if you do not destroy this card. Whenever an environment source would deal damage, you may increase or reduce that damage by one. Very cool. Wish I could have used it. Kind of really needed the two powers instead. Marvelous Regrowth. Whenever a hero target would be dealt toxic damage by a hero or environment source, you may have that target regain that much HP instead. Power. Perfuma deals up to two targets, two toxic damage each. Explosive Vegetation. You may play the top card of the environment deck. If you do, Perfuma deals a target for toxic damage. You may draw a card or play a card. And that's it. It's amazing there were any left. So yeah, very cool hero. Yet again, another environment-focused hero who interacts with the environment a lot differently from anybody else. Lots of fun to play. So that's it for this one. You can find Perfuma on Sentinels of Etheria. You can find Malachi Once Upon a Time on Walker's Workbench. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks to everyone who came to chat and sat through this very long game. Tabletop Simulator, the Reaver's Sentinels Call DLC. Sentinels of Etheria and Walker's Workbench, not like a great game. Please support the official release. And flip.